Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about DevOps and security. So let's get into it. So the question in question was posted on an old video I made, which is called What are the needs of IT right now and what will they look like in the future? And long story short, I explained that uh, the thing that is in most demand today is uh, software developers and it's probably going to stay that way for the longest time but there's likely going to be an increase in demand for DevOps related competence and uh, security as well because the complexities of the systems are there it's growing it's going more and more and we need more and more computational power and like the companies are getting bigger the teams are getting like the industry is growing and the a lot of uh, the complexities uh, in growth happens at those sorts of areas in those sorts of areas so the question was uh, another great video Frederick how do you predict DevOps and security roles will grow or change in the future so for security work it's pretty simple I think uh, the way I don't think that there's ever gonna it's not gonna change much from how it works today which the normal way that security works today is that you have an external company like sometimes you have in-house people and so forth but for the most part you have people perform security audits so you have freelancers and uh, you have bug bounty hunters etc etc there are a lot of these sort of patterns where you can uh, assess your security from the outside which is in a sense a very as I've actually said that in a few videos as well that if you want to get into IT in a fairly low effort type of way it's actually I would say it's probably the easiest way I'm not saying that security is easy it's very very difficult to be good at it but it's the, the there aren't really any strong requirements on you to be helpful uh, to the, the there's no like uh, culture around uh, going through certain gateways in order to be useful it's actually easier to be useful as a freelancer as a security expert or something like that than it is in many cases to be that be a software developer because what's beautiful about it is that you know of course you need some type of proof that you know what you're doing and like education and so forth is relevant but the the company wants someone from usually from the outside to try to get in if that makes sense which is actually a very good setup because as a security as a company who's looking to to gain security well you're simulating the same sort of like a benign attacker if that makes sense which is pretty good uh, so the I think that that's gonna stay the thing that I will say I think is gonna change though is that we have a lot of problems with zero day issues zero day bugs and like exploits and so forth related to the to the delivery process if that makes sense and so what I suspect is going to happen and in some companies it does happen not it's not no, the norm is that the role of the QA team is probably going to have another person or like it's going to expand a bit so QA teams are usually more focused on quality assurance and like automated testing things of that nature but I think that the secure it might get to it's probably going to get to a point where security people or people with pen testing experience are going to be necess a necessity as part of the delivery process because a lot of problems they get out into the wild and it's very difficult when you do because basically when you're on the outside you're doing a black box testing type of thing well not always but it becomes more of a black box where you're just trying to find something and it's very difficult sometimes to in such an assessment to figure out those like per deployment issues that might occur right the government is already doing these sorts of things in many cases um, where they're actually doing security reviews on each release because it's critical for them it's just that it's not common practice in the normal in most companies but i think that that is very likely to happen uh, because the like if you just look at the world today i mean shit is some com entire countries can get crippled by today's uh, today due to security leaks and so forth uh, so that is what uh, on the security aspect for devops i think that um, I suspect that the purebred DevOps person, which is sort of like people are now educating themselves to be DevOps people, but they don't have a background in software development, they're going to lose their jobs or they're going to have to expand their knowledge most likely. Uh, the reason being that uh, 
the the industry is trying to solve a root issue that is problematic for the industry to solve which is that the needs that they need from one individual person is growing because the reality is that it's actually very expensive and often very ineffective to have one single specialist for everything that you want to do because as i said if you're going to go if you were to hire all the roles that are quote unquote critical to do great software development, you would for a single little web shop need basically a room of at least ten people. And that's just I and that's just low I think I'm low balling there depending on how far you want to go. Like the big companies like they they're crippling themselves trying to hire a specialist for every single thing. The key I think, the key element is that uh, what they will very quickly realize is that it's ineffective to hire a person who only knows one part of the what is considered the normal delivery cycle. The reason why that is very bad is because one part is that it's fairly ineffective and another part is that you can get the software developer to do it instead. And I think that DevOps is going to go the same way, where it's the same thing that happened with the DBA or like the database administrator or the web designer or the uh, like uh, the release manager or in many cases scrum masters, etc., etc. They they are these sorts of supporting roles where you can trade these people for a senior software developer every day of the week. They have. They give, because they, although you can get a specialist who is like really really deep into something that doesn't really mean that you're going to gain so much in comparison to if you just told the software developer to learn how it works because if the software developer knows how to do it well enough uh, most of the time that's going to cover your cases it's just that DevOps and cloud and so forth these are sort of emerging things and most of the software developers today are just quote-unquote application developers just as the front-end developers are focusing on front-end or the back-end developers are focusing on back-end. But that's why I also argue to people that in my point of view, DevOps should be thought of as a higher form of, uh, of uh, role within IT, where you can absolutely learn. You can like not skip all this. You can just do DevOps courses. There are tons of this sort of stuff, right? But my argument is that it's sort of hollow in a sense because although you can do operations and you can use Kubernetes and like the tools and so forth, that's not really what the company wants. The company wants the teams, that's what DevOps is supposed to be about, to own the entire delivery process because no ops person, no person who is outside of the team is going to be more equipped to set up the the workflows to like to manage everything to be on call to do all the things because the company doesn't want to have an ops person or and the software developers are, or like these different specialities specialities they're not paying to just have someone who knows some stuff they're paying for the system to work and to deliver value and money and all that good stuff and a devops person is not as a single unit going to be able to do that as readily as a well experienced like an experienced software developer who knows how to handle all all the tooling and so forth. So my guess is that, and this is sort of already happening, the role of ops person will sort of come by. It's all, it never really went anywhere. You will have, might have central teams who manage all the environments and sort of set things up and might handle the day-to-day -day stuff of like in like interchangeable uh, things that cross multiple teams, right? But the idea of having a DevOps person in each team, I think that's already, I've never saw it really get the sort of traction maybe in some areas. Of the world, uh, but it's never really got there. Uh, what I do see, on the other hand, is that uh, there's an increase in demand for software developers who know how to use all the DevOps tools and set everything up and so forth. And based on what I can see, it's actually more fee sustainable for you to find a senior software developer or someone who has experience with these sorts of tools who can do that as well. And that's why I tell people that this idea that going really deep and becoming a specialist, that this is a, like this is the way to go for a, like a long-term career, I think that that is bullshit. It's utter, utter, utter bullshit. All I see is diversification of responsibilities, more and more. Like the, bra the wider you are, the more the more applicable you are for roles and so forth. That doesn't mean that you can't. You need to know things, but there it's like the days where you had one person who only did the CSS and like or learned everything about CSS is gone. 
and it's n I don't think it's ever going to come back. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, my suspicion is that uh, the way ops and security is going to go in the future is that security is going to sort of stay the way it is because it's in a very good place and it does fill the current need and the future need. More, of course, they are going to have to learn more about complexities and so forth and so forth as the applications are uh, are growing but the format I think is going to stay the same it's sort of like you know the military or something like that war never changes it nor war never changes just the weapons and like so forth and so forth and the same thing I think is going to go for security as for devops or like in security the only thing might change is that we might have more security people who are part of the delivery process where they might be part of the QA team in companies rather than just being something that you do on uh, an audit type of basis. For DevOps I think that the need for like senior software developers taking over greater and greater responsibilities within the ops space is just going to continue growing because the companies are realizing that the more complex the systems get the harder it is to find someone who is like not part of the actual delivery of everything to like manage all of this stuff and usually it's more effective for the team to own their own delivery process it makes them possible this gives because they are the people who are on the front lines like of uh, like delivering software and like build everything they know how the system work so having them deploy things it's actually going to make them faster they can deploy faster they can roll back they can manage themselves and they become autonomous if that makes sense that's very difficult with an ops per devops person and it's actually easier um, in many cases to educate the already software developers uh, like, because the leap from software developer to devops person is like it's nothing if it's a solid software developer. So that's why I think that this idea that you're just going to be a DevOps person and know nothing about application development is going to kind of fizzle out very, very quickly. And we're going to move towards the same thing. Like the DBA is, they are almost non existent today in comparison to what they used to be because people realize that actually it's more effective to have the software developers learn how the database systems work. But that also brings us back to the real problem, which is the thing that I think everybody's sort of starting to realize, um, where you cannot scale the industry this way, because you're putting more and more and more on the software developer to do and to learn. And by the time, like, I would say that within a few years, we're going to get to a point where the only people who can do all the things are going to be walking demigods. And if you're one of those people, because it's not impossible to get there, uh, you're going to be the equivalent of like a rock star or a uh, like a sports star or something like that. That's where we're heading, and that's why I believe that there are things that are going to have to change about the way we structure our our way of doing software development for this to not completely collapse at some point. Have a great day.